Well, what is going on, guys? My name is Rob, and today we are headed east. We're headed this way because we need to go catch four encounters. I think four if I caught, uh, if I counted correctly. But if you missed it last time, we actually fought, we fought Jasmine. Go back and watch it because we fought Jasmine, and she had a Mewtwo and a Zapdos. So we lost two Pokemon. We lost Agron and Venomoth, but we managed to catch a flame, the flaming Pokemon Magneton, which has flame body, which is very funny, and gives us much needed electricity coverage, which is always clutch. But like I said, we're headed east today, and we are working our way to Route 42, 43, Mount Mortar, the Lake of Rage, and a static encounter on the Lake of Rage. So I, all I've done off screen is I literally flew here, I added Magneton to the party, and I went in and I added, I want to say like 20 Pokeballs. Let me see. 10 Ultra Balls, 10 Great Balls, 17 Pokeballs, and 5 Net Balls. So we're ready for everything as soon as we get Strength. And we'll see what encounters we come up with. And if you're the astute viewer, if you're the, uh, the person who has a keen eye, you'll notice that behind me, everything's very different. So normally my room would have... Um, well, it's this side for you guys, would be my bookcase on this side, and uh, I flip my room completely around. So, <laughs> so everything's weird, but whoa, it's a Torterra. This would be epic. Uh, I'm gonna Thunder Wave, can I Thunder Wave it, or is it a ground type? It's a ground type, okay. Well, it's burned. <laughs> Thank you, Flame Body, but also screw you, Flame Body, because now, uh, now it's gonna die, and I can't put it to sleep. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna throw a ball. I, I, I don't want to use cut because if I bring it down... I don't think I will, but it is only level 14, so if I bring it down to, like, half health, I'll be kinda heckin' screwed, which would be a real bummer. I don't actually even need Torterra, assuming Gen 1 or stays healthy, but... A starter with this much power, and of course ground coverage, which ground hits everything super effectively, is huge. But yes, I have a new background. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these screens here. This is my work desk, and I don't like them being in the background. I want it to just be cubes with delicious Nintendo slash anime slash a bunch of other stuff. I got more stuff coming in the mail to hang up. Um... But I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with these screens. They might stay. They might, I do have to work for a living, so they might stay. Come on, Torterra. Get in the pocket monster ball. I'm gonna start kind of using my Pokeballs as his health goes down. Better Pokeballs as the health goes down. Hey, it's a Torterra. Hey, the Torterra. Ancient people imagined that beneath the earth, a gigantic Torterra dwelt. Fully evolved. I'm gonna call him... Torta... Tortellini. Tortellini! It fits perfectly. Because, hey, it's Tortellini. Hey. What's going on? A Tortellini. So, I could have surfed um, to the right here and, and got a Route 42 encounter in the water, but that's kind of lame. We've had like nine surf encounters in a row. So I'm going to go and get one on the grass right here, and hopefully it's something good. It's a Vibrava. Huh. All right, also ground type, or is it still... It's also ground type, okay. So the ground coverage is legit, and I... Can I not escape now? I cannot escape now. All right, let's use Sonic Boom. <laughs> Boom! Yes, I know. Ugh, I'm going to have to waste a bunch of potions... Just because I'm not allowed to switch out. Is it over? It is. Cool. Alright. Um, I'm just going to put it to sleep. And then we'll catch it. Maybe we'll get two super cool ground Pokemon to start this episode. Who knows? Come on, Vibrava. Easy as you like. Let's go. 
It vibrates its wings vigorously, creating ultrasonic waves that cause serious headaches. And it does already have the dragon typing, which I did not know. I thought that came later. I'm gonna call him, uh... Toots. A... Dragon. Toots a dragon. Because in my last playthrough, I had Gyarados, which I named not a dragon. Because for some reason, they made Gyarados not dragon type. <laughs> Even though it's in the first generation dragon team for the Elite Four, it's literally a dragon. <laughs> and um, it learns dragon rage, <laughs> but it's flying water type. Because they were like, hey, we gotta give this thing four weaknesses, four times weakness to electricity. Um, Alright, well, things are going smoothly. That was way faster than I thought it would be because I thought there'd be more trainers. But as long as I can sneak by people, I'm here for the five encounters. I'm not here for the battles. So let's get our third encounter in the first step of grass on Route 43, which is Nine Tails. Ooh, it looks, I actually like that sprite a lot. The tails look epic AF in the background. I probably should have switched in case it knows Ember, but we're, we're, we're playing it dangerous. One more Sonic Boom. All right, now I'll definitely switch. Go Darkwing! Right. Ninetales is good, but it's outclassed by way too many fire Pokemon. I had this I had this conversation with my roommate the other day, Rapidash. What a cool Pokemon. It's a giant flaming horse. No one uses it. <laughs> Cause every Pokemon's better every fire Pokemon's better than it. Though apparently from a catch rate perspective, Ninetales is hard. Get in there, baby. One, two, three, swing. Let's go. All right. Some legends claim that each of its nine tails has its own unique type of special mystical power. Name nine tails. I'm gonna call him. Uh... Oh, I'm gonna call him Cle Cleo Hatra because. <laughs> That's definitely not how you spell Cleopatra, but whatever. In uh, Austin Powers Gold Member, the, <laughs> the what a stupid reference. The Beyonce character's name is Foxy Cleopatra. <laughs> Nine Tails is kind of a fox. So uh, yeah, I'm. You'd say I'm the most creative person ever. Hunter could have been our other one. That's cool. I'll take the free experience though. And we'll keep working. Keep on moving. Uh, can I sneak past that guy? I don't want to fight anybody. I kind of want to get all my encounters and then come back later. Welcome to the Lake of Rage. The Gyarados are angry. It's a bad omen. So we get one Lake of Rage encounter in the water and then one static encounter, which counts as a separate thing because all statics count as separate because I make the rules. And Charmander, we already have one of those. A uh, bye bye Dupes Claws for the Charmander, because we already have a Charmeleon, so let's go ahead. Wow, Gyarados looks so weird. I'm looking at the capture on that huge screen. That's funny. I'm not used to seeing a Gyarados sprite that big. Jigglypuff is our next encounter, which is hilarious, because Jigglypuff blows. But Sonic Boom with Thunder Wave is like the dopest combo for catching Pokemon ever. Nailed it. All right. This should go pretty easily. It's the singing Pokemon. Come on, baby. Two. Three. Yes. All right. Let's go. If it inflates to sing a lullaby, it can perform a longer and cause sure drowsiness in its audience. Give it a nickname to Jigglypuff. I'm going to call it... Uh, dumb. Dumb. Reference to the tiny little pops you'd have as a kid. And then... There's the Gyarados. I believe it's level 25. It's like a high level Pokemon, so I'm going to switch to Gen 1 -er, and then we'll see what we can get. Yeah, I wish it was actually a red Gyarados. It's a shiny Solrock, which just looks like Solrock with more, with like a sunburn. It's like a little redder. It is rock fire, which means everything I have is weak to it. I'm going to try and put it to sleep. Rock throw should be fine. 
I'm sorry, what? That did 30 damage, not super effective? Get out of here with that garbage. Um, I'm gonna go with... Thang? I'm gonna go with Thang because I can use a ground move that... Because it doesn't have levitate, I can use a ground move that will lower its accuracy, and then I don't have to worry about it hitting me with, apparently, the world's strongest rock throw. Alright, Rock Throw didn't do that much. I guess being, Ivysaur is just weak AF? I don't know what that's about. Maybe that's an IV thing. Accuracy down in the dumps. So one of the things I've been curious about is whether... So... Pokeballs, like the fastball... Or not the fastball, like the, like the dive ball and the net ball affect Pokemon. That are water types or bug types or something along those lines. But what, what I'm curious about is whether in a randomizer that stays linked to the sprite. I assume that it, it hangs with the Pokemon, right? But theoretically, this is a Gyarados sprite. This is, in the game, this is coded as like a Gyarados encounter. Maybe Dive Ball would still be effective? I, it, I'm sure it's linked to the Pokemon, but may, who knows? Who the heck knows? All right, I thought that Ultra Ball was going to catch it, but we'll try again. This one's got to go. It's just... A soul rock. One? Two? I forgot the first rock. Three! Zinger! When it rotates itself, it gives off light similar to the sun, thus blinding its focus or binding its focus. Did not read that correctly. Soul rock. I'm gonna call him. So. I'm gonna call him. Totem. There you go. He's kind of like a totem. And I got a red scale from him. How cool. Let's go talk to Lance. What's up, Lance? That red Gyarados wasn't acting right, as I feared. Somebody must have forced it to evolve. Because they're so pleasant normally. It was kind of weird. I heard some rumbling, so I came to investigate. So the way you battled earlier, Rob, I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skills. Want to help me investigate? I do, because you heal my Pokemon. All right, I think I can get the fishing rod here now, if I remember correctly. The Lake of Rage is actually Crater. Okay. Thought that's where you got the rod from? I guess not. Well, now that we got five encounters in friggin' 12 minutes, that was fast as hell. Uh, let's do some training. Mortal's kind of going to carry the team, I assume, because he's fully evolved and his base stats are like 600. So let's get him buffed up there. R.I.P. Agron. Uh, Karate Chop. Yeah. It's actually a really epic matchup. Wow. Okay. I guess not. <laughs> In, like, the anime, this would be a very cool matchup. Like, if they were doing a pan over a tournament, there'd be, like, an Agron locking up with a matcha. Like, ah, epic. I love Pokemon. That's why I started and why I collect them. Me too, buddy. Speaking of collect, I just started, uh... Recollecting Pokemon cards. I mentioned it in a past episode, right? And I was like, I went with a friend to go get Pokemon cards. So I mentioned this earlier. And it was cool and it was fun, but it was like a Saturday. And I was like, you know what? Like, I'm an adult. I don't need to do that all the time. You know, like, I got, I got some stuff going on. I can't be spending money on Pokemon cards. So I... I happen to have to go to work in the office for the first time in a long time. My office is right next to a mall. So I stop at the mall afterwards. I was like, I'm just going to get like one pack just to just to get that itch, you know, just to heal that itch. So that one pack had two, not one, two uh, holographic Lugias. And it had a regular holographic rare Lugia and a full art. Lugia in that in that pack and I was like all right well I'm back in <laughs> I'm back in on the Pokemon um I'm gonna give up on revenge um don't give up on revenge because we're pretty slow I don't think we're gonna use Leer if we can't hit it offensively to the point where we need to use Leer I'm not gonna want to have my champ out there anyway so we'll take the double damage in case we get outsped and we'll go back that costs a thousand dollars to go that way so we'll take the life orb. I don't know what that does. The life orb. 
may help my Pokemon boost the power of moves, but at the cost of some HP for each hit. That sounds the opposite of delightful. That sounds poor. Rich Kid Daniels got a Tangela. Uh, not a good matchup. Oh, wow. Never mind. All right. Well, that's definitely going to KO because that's a 120 power stab now. Beldum? Good news is I get outsped by everybody. <laughs> so this this revenge is going to do Mondo damage. But I do have to take a hit, which is a bummer. Go Gen 1-er. Got mad skills. So I was gonna, I was gonna not buy any more, any more Pokemon cards. I was like, all right, I like had my, you know, I had my day, I had my fix of getting back into Pokemon cards. I don't need to be doing that all the time. Those two Lugias really spearheaded me into like the eBay game, and now I'm definitely gonna be ordering way more Pokemon cards. So you're probably gonna see in one of these spots back here. You're gonna see like a progressively growing binder of Pokemon cards <laughs> as I continue to work my way into the super epic world of 27 year old pokemon card collecting what took you so long rob since i thought the strange radio signals coming from here the stairs are right here yeah i know dude thanks bro let's go let's party this if i remember is actually a pretty tough area maybe i think well actually if the st oh oh speaking of electrodes, there's gonna be a bunch of static encounters in this place. So because of Nuzlocke rules, I don't make them. Static encounters count as unique encounters. So we're gonna be counting. We're gonna be getting another encounter in here if we make it far enough. And it's not gonna be exploding uh, electrodes like it normally is, which is actually quite nice. Hit him! There we go. He's four times weak to grass, so he's down. Fortress. Is he bug something else? I don't know. He's about to get embered or flown? Fly. I'm going to fly in case he explodes. Maybe I'll get away with it. Use takedown. That's fine. This might KO. I don't actually know what type fortress is. Not even close. Okay. Oh, well, ember KO'd and he didn't explode, which is nice. There's one more trainer. It's my turn. There's no escape. Slugma. How about a karate chop in the mouth? <laughs> Not to. Uh, Flan needs experience, so. Let's do that. Miracle Eye. I don't actually know what that does. Staryu is also weak to electricity, but I don't love the fact that Flaw is a little damaged. So we're going to go with a bite. Oh, and that's it. Cool. Oh, cool. Alright, I think there's one more statue that we have to go past. I can go on the inside or the outside. Oh, 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 and speaking of encounter... Wow, this could be an encounter-filled episode. Um, when we go to the south of here... South. When we go down from this area, there's the little horizontal pads where you encounter wild Pokemon. So we'll get another encounter there. And this person is a Swampert. Boom! And another fortress. Okay. Well, we're not going to screw around. We're just going to Ember this time. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's way better than flying. One more? Cool. It's my turn. There's still no escape. This actually is funny because this is normally a very boring set of battles where the, the they have the exact same Pokemon. And then <laughs> fast forward to here where this is a boring set of battles where they have the same set of Pokemon. Star you. Uh, let's try Flaw. Let's give him a shot. Ooh. Ooh. Take the half experience. One thing I was not counting... Oh, whoops. I keep using Screech because I'm playing in super duper speed. One thing I was not counting on was how bad Magnemite's bulk is. It's good defensively because it's part steel, but its HP is only 48. At full health. That's brutal. Revenge. Kill. Volbeat always gives me trouble for some reason. Let's go with an Ember. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Kingler is water type. I guess Gen 1-er. We don't want him to get over leveled. He's getting close. Our level cap is set at 30 still. Because <laughs> despite the fact that we have to fight all these trainers between gyms, the gym leader's trainer Pokemon are the same level. 
which makes no sense. Price's Pokemon are lower level than Jasmine. Riddle me that one. But we're going to get another encounter here, which is actually quite nice, so... See what it is. More, more, more balls, please. It's a Grand Bull. Back-to-back -back, uh, games where I catch a Grand Bull. Assuming I catch this one. Um, problem is, Grand Bull hits pretty hard. Charm's fine. Let's go with Sleep Powder. Missed. Alright. Maybe we'll just... Do a lot of damage with this? Not even close. Oh, there's the physical special split in this game. I forgot. Let's go with Mud Slap. Get him to start missing me a bit. I know you always missing me, girl. Okay. That's good enough. And it seems like he only knows, he only knows Lick and Charm, so he should be pretty safe. Let's toss a great ball out there and see what Granbull can do. One. Just one. Okay. Get in the ball, because now I think you might KO me if you don't. Yes! I personally have an affinity for normal type, because typically they're very slanted towards attack, like Tauros, Snorlax, Gramble, etc. It's actually timid and easily spooked. If attacked, it flails about to fend off attackers. Oh, it's a it's a wiener? Gramble, I'm going to call him... Uh... Mandy. <laughs> because he's got big mandibles. <laughs> That's the joke. Your mandible is this, right? Oh, God. Oh, I gotta fight all these Pokemon. Later. Alright. Well, it could have been a Bidoof, so I guess things could have been worse. I'll take the free experience from one karate shop. And then we go through this warp pad, and then we get healed. Oh, no, that warp pad brings us back to the beginning. That's a trick warp pad. This brings us down to Lance, who heals us. Nice. Perfect timing, Lance. I could not have done it better myself. Alright. Slip to flaw. We've been doing way... We've been proceeding way too fast. I was expecting this area to not even... I was expecting to not even get to this part of the game till next episode. So this is actually kind of cool. The door won't open. Well, duh. There's a... Uh, it has to have a password that only Team Rocket knows. Not me. Just Team Rocket. Ooh, I apologize for how squeaky that water bottle is. Let's go with Thundershock. Let's go with Thundershock. Let's go with Sonic Boom. Oh, we've been tail, we've been tail whipped twice, so not smart to leave him in. Go Mortal. Bah! Never ending karate chops of doom. Oh, and that was his only Pokemon. Dope. <laughs> Lance is just in front of me, like with a guy. Like, grabbing a guy by the collar up against the wall, just like... Mm. 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 <laughs> uh, Radio Transmitter, you need a voice of a certain person. Uh, yada, 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 yada. I know, we gotta fight everybody and remember who gives me the passwords. Ugh, guy in the cape is incredibly tough. I had no choice but to tell him the password. I think this person gives me... Arbok... Tail, or something. But no weakling's going to get it! complication. Trainer Kim is a Totodile, which is a great matchup for me. A uh, buh bye, bye And then Starmie, which is not the best for Flaw. Let's see if we can do it. Rapid Spin, that's fine. I'm worried about Water and Psychic Attack. Swift, that's fine. Okay, cool. And that's a Starmie gives a boatload of experience, so that's dope. Password of the boss's room is Slowpoke Tail. It's useless unless you have two. All right. I believe it's this person in the very back who gives me Raticate Tail. <laughs> You're challenging me to a battle? You're nuts. You must have big nuts. I mean, be nuts. Got a Bagon. How cute. It's only going to know Bite and Headbutt, so I think I can just Sonic Boom it to death. And Rage. LOL. Later, bro! Silk Scarf, that's useful for if we ever use Gramble and Honey, which is useless. Password for the boss's door, Radicate Tail. But if you don't know both passwords, I do, sucker! Because I know that I remember the two people. And Volt Tackle. Does that do damage to myself, or does that have a different effect? 
Considerable damage to the user. And everybody can learn it. <laughs> Except for my electric type. Kind of a bummer. Uh, is this the way to the top? Hello? Oh, that looks promising. Just one grunt standing in front of a doorway. Oh, a kid! I don't really like this, but uh, eliminate you I must. You're gonna die, clown. Niddle Queen. Whoa! Big step up in abilities here. Let's go with Thang. Because you're a poison type. Which means that that'll KO. Or half KO. I do love the mud shot animation. It's literally just... <laughs> literally... They, see, they saw Mudshot, they're like, oh, hey, I got that. <laughs> I know exactly what that is. I didn't see what Pokemon's next, so send out Mortal. It's Celio, which is a great switch. And a bye bye Wow, we have Rampage through here. And he wants to learn Vital Throw, which never misses. But always goes second. I'm going to not do Vital Throw and just hope that I never get minimized a thousand times by somebody. Because, I don't know, whatever. But... Six encounters in one episode? I think that's enough. To be 100% honest, I think that's all we need. I'm going to call the episode here. Next time, we are going to... Uh, we're going to fight. We're going to type Eradicate Tail and Slowpoke Tail into something. And uh, fight somebody. We're going to fight people. And then we get another static encounter. More encounters. <laughs> Let's go. I'll see you there.